Leon here from passionfordancing.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about the types of ballroom dance styles out there. Yes, because there are so many out there, you probably are confused which da dances should I learn, which dance styles should I pick up and so this video is going to cover all of that information. We're going to talk about the traditional ballroom dances, the different styles that go into the traditional ballroom dances as well as the non-traditional dances that people do consider under the ballroom umbrella because they're partner dances. There's two main styles of ballroom dancing. That is it, okay? Um, there's the international style, and then there's the American style, okay? In the international style, you have it broken down into two more styles, the international Latin, which includes cha-cha, samba, rumba, pasadoble, and jive, that's five. And then there's also the international standard, which includes the waltz, tango, foxtrot, Viennese waltz and quick step. Did I count that right? I think so. Anyway, let's move forward. Now, that's the international style, and there's 10 dances there in those two uh, styles underneath it. And now there's the American style. The American style is also broken down into two further styles the American rhythm, which includes the cha cha, rumba, swing, mambo, and bolero. And then the American smooth style, which includes the waltz, tango, Foxtrot and Viennese Waltz. That's right, that's not a mistake. The American Smooth only has four dances, okay? So the American style has a total of nine dances and the international style has a total of 10 dances. So these are the major styles of ballroom dancing and you can see there's some similarities, right? The international style has the cha-cha and the rumba, right? And the American rhythm also has the cha-cha and the rumba, but you should know that they are a little bit different, yeah? Both in terms of how you do them, so in terms of the technique, as well as the steps and the syllabus that you're learning is gonna be a little bit different. And same goes for the International Style Standard and the American Smooth. They have very similar dances, so they both include the waltz, tango, foxtrot, Viennese waltz, but you should know that those are still quite different styles for example, in the smooth dances, you're allowed to go apart. You don't have to stay in close hold the whole time as you're supposed to do with the international style. Perhaps talking about the differences between these two styles is for another video, so maybe I'll do that one in the future. But for now, you just need to understand that you have the international style, and then you have the American style. And each one of them is broken down into two specific styles. And that's uh, the major ballroom styles. And I should mention that the international style is predominantly danced all over the world. Uh, hence the, uh, the word international is danced in the USA as well as all over the world in Europe and Asia and everywhere. Now the American style, while it used to be uh, predominantly danced in America, it is now also uh, starting to be danced all over the world. So it's becoming more and more popular. Before we move forward, I just want to mention that we do teach both of these styles on our website at passionfordancing.com so please check us out if you want to learn all the different steps that go into both of these styles. So now that we talked about the major styles of what makes ballroom dancing, uh, let's talk about some of the non-traditional styles that are also considered to be in the same umbrella. And those include, for example, the swing dances. So a lot of people consider the swing dances to be part of ballroom dancing. You have the West Coast Swing, you have the Lindy Hop, you have the Boogie Woogie, you have the uh, Charleston, you have the Balboa. Some of these are not danced very often anymore. Yes, yeah? so you, you can still find a lot of people are dancing the West Coast Swing and the Lindy Hop. The other non-traditional ballroom dances include the Latin nightclub style, which includes dances like salsa, merengue, bachata, club cha-cha, and more. These dances are also done in partner dances, so a lot of people say that this is a ballroom style. And then there's some other non-traditional dances such as hustle, polka, and more that some people also consider under the ballroom dancing uh, genre. So this is a great overview of the different ballroom dances that are out there and we do have an extensive blog post on our website that you can find in the description below that lists all of these different styles and dances and, and explains the, the dances a little bit more in detail if you're looking for that. There are definitely more partner dances out there that I probably didn't mention uh, but I just wanted to focus on the ones that are most popular and the ones that really relate to what people consider to be in the ballroom dancing genre. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to visit our website at passionfordancing.com where we teach people how to ballroom and Latin dance from their homes.
as well as some of the non-traditional dances uh, that a lot of people consider under the ballroom, as well as the non-traditional ballroom dances, as well as the non-traditional, as well as the non-traditional dances that people do consider under 